always good to have the applause die before you guys. <laughs> How's everyone doing? I was told the other day I'm a dad bod. I was a skinny fat guy. I realize I have a body like a ten repeated mattress. I swear, miss, if you put your drink on this side and he jumped like a coked up five year old at Toys R Us on this side, that drink wouldn't spill. That's that's what we got going on here. Uh, anyone transsexual? No. All right, good. I'll move forward. I I have a problem with the transgender community. It, uh, it's uh, it's a small problem. It's a really finite issue. The women that were once men are so goddamn hot now. I you can't tell the difference anymore. They're so fucking hot. You go to a bar now and, and you're hoping that a girl's wearing tight pants so you can see some sort of ball drug. Right? That's a guy. Stay away from that. But if she's in a skirt, you're blowing on the dice and playing craps, bro. You are playing with fire. <laughs> You can't trust anything. You gotta question everything. Five years ago, you brought a girl back, you asked her things like, are you on birth control? Have you ever had an STD? Do I have to wear this condom? Now you bring a girl back, you're like, have you ever identified as a man? Is that a penis? Do I have to wear this condom? <laughs> you can't trust anything anymore. You bring a girl back, I, I brought a girl back the other day, fooling around, she puts her hands on my pants, starts jerking me off. Huh? <laughs> great, great. She was amazing at it. I finish, I lay back, I'm like, wow, that's awesome. And then it just crept in. I'm like, how did you get so good at that? <laughs> you don't have one of these, do you? You gotta question everything these days, man. You can't drink like you used to. You can't black out anymore, too. You wake up from a black eye, you're like, wow, where am I? Oh, I don't remember this blonde. Oh, she smells nice. Oh, that's a dick. Ah, that's a dick, man. God damn. And you can't get mad. They're trying to look good. You're trying to look good. It's not their fault. It's like when the fucking magician pulls the coin out of the back of your You'll get mad at him. You're just like, ah, you got me. That's a dick. You fucking got me, guy. Go back to your friends. You're like, eh, she had a dick. But she identified as a woman, so... And my, my argument is like, they're getting so hot, it's like, what is the difference at this point? <laughs> you know? She, you get a blowjob from a real woman, you get a blowjob from a woman that identifies as a woman. What's the difference at this point? I feel like in five years that's gonna be the same. It's like, dude, I just hooked up with the hottest guy. He looks just like Jessica Simpson, dude. He's so hot. They're like, dude, that's gay. He's, oh, no, dude, he identifies as a woman. <laughs> it was cool. I'm not from here. I'm from New York, if you couldn't tell by my socially um, unaware stance on transvestites. <laughs> uh, no, I'm from New York. It's funny to me how LA and New York are two cities that seem like they're built by the people that live there. Like, New York was built by a businessman. He's like, we're gonna make a grid, and all the streets are gonna be numbered, and if you're poor, get out. <laughs> and LA was built by like this really frazzled gay guy that took on this massive project he couldn't handle. <laughs> He's like, I don't even know anymore! <laughs> Just put roads everywhere. They're like, what do we, do we number them? He's like, just name them something fancy, like <laughs> San Vicente or something. <laughs> Sounds like I'm now going after the transvestites and the gay guys. I actually think in 10 years it's gonna be like so cool to be gay. I think it's gonna be like the coolest shit in the world. Here's my reasoning. When I was in high school, the coolest shit to do was smoke weed. Everyone was like, yo, hit this joint, bro. Yo, smoke this joint, bro. You're gonna love it once you smoke this joint. When my son's in school, it's gonna be like, yo, suck this dick, bro. Yo, suck this dick, bro. You're gonna love it when you suck this dick, bro. So I'm gonna raise my kids gay. <laughs> Every single one, like gently, gently raise them gay, right? For like his third birthday, I'll get him a scarf. For his sixth birthday, I'll get him a fedora. For his tenth birthday, I'll get him a dildo. So like, just try it, buddy, you might like this thing. I wanna have conversations with my son where he can come home and be like, hey, uh, I got a head from Jimmy. And I'm like, oh! 
You got hit from the hottest dude in the class? You little pimp. Or be like, hey man, you know, it's fall, football tryouts, the quarterback position's open, what are we thinking? He's like, uh, I think that the fall show's cats, dad. <laughs> and I think I fell in love with choreography this summer, you son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, I'm getting my light, so I have one more joke. Yeah, gay's cool, trans is cool. Uh, oh, women, I haven't gone after them yet. <laughs> I, I, I've noticed recently, I, I actually, I have three sisters, which was, everyone always asks me what's it like to grow up with three sisters, and I say it's like a hockey match, three periods and a lot of fighting. Uh, took some of you guys a little longer to get that, so that's... But it's so funny, but you guys are on a date, right? Women right now are fighting for equal rights, right? But I don't think they're really, I'm not equal rights in the workplace, but I think they're gonna have trouble with it because there's no unity in women for some reason. Like, you guys are on a date, right? So if he turned to you and was like, look at this, and he looked at a flamboyant gay guy and goes, look at that dumb fag over there. All the gay guys were like, what, what the hell's wrong with you, man? They'd stand up in unity and they'd walk out. If you saw a black guy over there and was like, look at that dumb N-word. All the black guys would be like, what the fuck's wrong with you, man? Stand up, walk out in unity. If he turned to you and was like, look at that dumb bitch over there, you'd be like, where's the dumb bitch at? Where's the dumb bitch at? Text your friends like, I'm sitting next to the dumbest bitch in the world. That's my time, guys, appreciate you. One more time for New York for Billy Breed. All right, our next comic looks nothing like the previous comic. Please welcome, he's got an album out there, Mr. Andrew Boydstone.